Hi friends, today we will talk about PEX1 and serratus anterior plane block. I have used this for modified radical mastectomy. If you look at the scanning for PEX1 block, uh, you have to start scanning from the clavicle, then move your probe laterally and posteriorly and look for the PEC major, PEC minor and third and four, four, three. So here you can see this is the clavicle, I am moving my probe and you can see the muscle that is PEC major and below that is the PEC minor and here you can see muscles and the rib. So you have to identify the muscle, then you have to identify uh, artery that lies in this plane that is pectoral branch of thoracoacromial artery. So look for the artery, and if you 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 can you can on, you cannot always identify it, but if you can identify, it, uh, it is always good. So here to inject the drug here to block uh, lateral pectoral now and medial pectoral now. So this block is basically used for uh, small surgeries like uh, uh, small fibroadenoma excision or imp uh, putting an implant to provide analgesia. This is part of multimodal analgesia. Here you can see my needle is coming from uh, anterior to posterior or anteromedial to the posterolateral. It is in plane approach. So I am targeting the plane between PEC major and PEC minor. So here you can see I have reached almost there. I will inject small bolus of the drug to see the spread. Here, now you can see I have injected some drug. I am readjusting the needle to go in the plane and I will inject 10 ml of 0.25% of ropivacaine in this at this level to block the pectoral nerve and it will provide excellent analgesia but this is not sufficient for MRM so I will supplement it with serratus anterior plane block serratus anterior plane block is a little posterior and it will block T2 to T9 so here you can see for scanning you have to look go laterally you have to look for fifth and sixth ray identify latissimus dorsi and serratus anterior Play, uh, muscle and you have to, you can inject either between these two muscle or you can go posterior to the serratus anterior. Basically, you are targeting uh, 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 lateral branches of intercostal nerves. So again, you have to uh, come. Uh, your needle will be uh, uh, travel in the oblique plane. You will go antero uh, medial to the posterolateral. So you will. Pass uh, ne your needle through latissimus dorsi and you will inject the drug between latissimus dorsi and uh, serratus anterior. And this will uh, sp this drug will spread in a, a very large plane and it will block uh, lateral branches of intercostal nerves. Here you can see I am dissecting the plane and I will inject the drug. You can uh, see the needle nicely and drug is spreading nicely in the plane. And I will inject at least 20 ml of LA. Uh, uh, sometimes I go for 25 ml of LA. That is ropivacaine 0.2%, and it will nicely spread in the plane between latissimus dorsi and serratus anterior, and it will provide excellent analgesia in the in post-operative period for breast surgery. But of course, you you can add some local infiltration in certain area like. Uh, uh, in parasternal area for anterior cutaneous branches of the intercostal nerve and above clavicle for supraclavicular nerve that is branch of superficial cervical plexus block that will complete your block for complete analgesia. Thank you, thank you very much.